Welcome YouTubers, this is Pogadigit here and finally after 4 to 5 months of waiting after I got the, the figure of uh, Angel Woman and Hickory on the right side right here at last all the wait has been complete because the delivery right here is none other than Wizardmon and Telmon as I just mentioned on my uh, my video on the Angel Woman and Hickory, uh, I think on March, like, like so, I did mention on that video that I will definitely get Wizardmon and Telmon because they're one of the at least one of my favorite pairing of the Aka Digimon couples like that. But you already know the story of Wizardmon. But for those of you who are still new to this uh, Digimon Ventures and you want to know the episode and why so many people like the shipping of these two characters uh, please uh, watch that before you go to this video for those of you who haven't watched Digimon Adventures yet but for those of you Digimons, uh, Digimon fans out there watching this video uh, right now you already all know about what happened to Wizardmon and of course Telmon end up evolving to Angel Woman so skip to that let's go to the box itself right here so just ignore these two, but I just put there for a display for the sake of the uh, my collection of uh, Telmon and Hickory because I'm a fan of those two. So going to the box itself, you can see it's like it's from Japan, shipped it right here. So these are the details on the uh, warnings like so and the address. And I do apologize that I kind of show you at the front because you can see the white paper right here. The, the seller from Instagram he wrote my home address, including my name. So I have to. Uh, not show it to all of you, so I do apologize for it. And this is the logo of the recycle like that. And here are the ones aside I can show you. It's from the Jam Company, and it's the Digimon Adventures of Wizardmon and Telmon written in Japanese. Same goes for the sides right here. Well, nope, not really. But this one says says fragile like that, so just be extra careful. And there's the white paper right here, so to respect again. So, no further ado, let's start opening this up with my cutter. So, would you look at that? What a beauty it is! And of course, it's the average size of the box that I really would uh, rather have like when it comes to figures. Not really those uh, gigantic boxes like how they fit this Angel Woman and of course the height of the Angel Woman's box. Uh, Angel Woman's box and this box. This her box is way bigger than this, so I kind of show the comparison because uh, my stuff has been fully packed up, and I don't want to bring out or drag out the box all the way on my bed just to make another mess. So, looking at Wizardmon and Telmon right here, lovely design. Even though it's the background right here, it's not so detailed, but it shows the theme from the moon, like it's already nighttime because. You already know the theme of Wizardmon. You can see it's like dark or navy blue or dark purple kind but based on my time. And you can see that the, this is from the Gem series. Then the words in Japanese, Digimon Adventures, Wizardmon and Telmon. And the logo right here, Digimon Adventures from the Season 1. And then the logo, official logo from the Toei Animation. And the bottom right is the Mega House. And then the English names of them are Wizardmon and Telmon. Moving on to the sides, you can see an, uh, a side pose from them, and there's a circle window right here, and a big uh, gigantic window that almost like a shape of a Mickey Mouse. Don't get me wrong, it's almost a shape of it, but it's not really Mickey Mouse uh, face. And then the side here, a front view of them, and another circle pad right here, and the back side, it's the full version of them with a lovely uh, moon, uh, like the moon shape right here, like. The moon's really uh, sun rising like that. That's really nice. And I don't know what this means in in, uh, in English. I'm just trying my best. Like maybe I could see you, or the sun sees you. I could, maybe it could be wrong what I'm saying. And of course, the upper part right here is the shape of the uh, moon or a smiley face. So no further ado, let's start opening up again. And I really don't damage this box because since we're moving house, so I have to keep this uh, cardboard box on the side that you can hear. Let's check on this side. Nope. 
Have to be careful not to uh, damage it. So nothing much on the background right here, inside here. It's just like plain uh, purple color with the name of a Wizardmon and Tamon. You can see here displaying in the window. So I'm putting the box aside and putting out to let you see the display of a Wizardmon and Tamon before I remove this uh, plastic out of them. Let you see it all in 360. So no further ado, I'll be right back and until I get this uh, plastic to be removed. So after removing the plastic of course and including his accessories and Telmon and the base. So looking at Wizardmon first, wow, I was so amazed how they did it. The, the Mega House and the Gem series did an excellent job on him. And of course you may wonder this one it's actually been separated so but I just put it here together to show you that this one can be removable and there's a hole right here just to simply attach it. You don't need to have a no need to press it in, just leave it like that. You want to make it like a little bit outer or just inner, it just depends on you. But I would prefer going a little bit more deeper like that. So looking at all the details of Wizard from head to toe, it really outstands him. Starting from his hat. Even the highlight from light tone to darker tone you can see and the skeletons tones are face, the, the color texture from those navy blue and the dark blue like the dirty parts like there's a little bit of a dark parts to show the dirt. Even the hat details look at that really amazing even the the bending of the hat the, really the hat over here this is the, this is just so amazing and then the hair really like blowing in the wind. Then you can see the, uh, the face of him. Sorry, it, uh, it's black because of the shadow right here. You can see his eyes is so beautiful. Like this kind of a dark green, like the color of my 3DS. Like a, a, like a green aqua, but like a darker aqua. Then covering his uh, face right here. Then details on his uh, outfit attire with a skeleton in the middle. And then zipper part right here. And then another mini red part like here, like a sleeve, like sleeveless. And then his jacket, all the way to this area. And this one has the lighter tone, really, really nice. Even going to the darker tone and to the middle tone. And even the words, the words right here, the Digimon words. Wow, there's no scratches. You can see it very, very uh, detailed. Like I'm just flipping him upside down to show every one of you that they really, really put most of the Digimon words right in here. And there's even a tone from light to dark. Then moving on to his outfit. From this uh, light yellow tan. Then his uh, moon zippers. From his uh, gloves. And then to his uh, uh, outfit right here. Then even to his uh, knee area which is like a kind of so-called mouth. And you can see right here another zipper, the moon zipper. It's really really nice, really like that. And then his shoes of the moon. It's really nice, like they really give this shiny effect. Including the stars right here and of course his uh, his wand itself. And it's really nice how they did it. Even the detail on the, the zippers on his gloves. I have no words to say it right now. It says all the details from head to toe. It's just really amazing. Even to his boots, like the stitch up as uh, shoes right here, you can see that detail. It's really nice, even the shading, I just don't know what to say. I'm not really good when it comes to talking about materials because I don't uh, know how to call them whatsoever. Then looking at the wand itself, so putting Wizardmon uh, out first. So the wand itself, it really is uh, well done indeed. Looks simple, but really excellent. Especially this part, it's so, so shiny. Not really as shiny, but looks so shiny when you see it. So of course, putting it back right here. Then see, moving on to his back, and there's the ring, the silver ring on his uh, middle finger, on his right hand. And then also to his left hand. And I forgot to mention, there's a little detail on this one right here. There's another stitch right here on his second uh, finger right here. I don't know how you call that. And this gap is actually to attach a uh, tail one. Uh, if I can get that right, it has to be, so I'll find out when it's when I get to assemble it. So that's the gap that has to be for Tamon. And of course, going down, 
right here to where he's uh, floating or standing. It's like blowing into the wind with the stars blowing. And you can tell that from, it, from the color itself, from light blue all the way to transparent. Like how other figures like Sailor Moon's uh, tip hair, then Sailor Moon's uh, hair tip right here. I really like it how they make from the real color then all the way make it to a fadey color which is transparent. Really like that really like that tone. And make it let you look at the 360 again. They really did a fabulous job. So now we're moving on to the cutest cat is Telmon. So right here you can see this Telmon is very very cute. As you can see she's jumping so happily and you can see her ears is like blowing into the wind. From this angle you can see the differences of the, the ears. Then even the eye tones right here. This really comes from the anime. Really love it. Even the mouth tone you can see is like a 3D. And the teeth, the white teeth you can see from her is really nice. And then going to the lighter pink right here, like a peach kind of color. Very well done. No scratches. Even the purple part of her uh, tip of her ear. No scratches. And I do notice some part right here, the purple. I hope it's not stained or printed out. But it seems like it gets some stuck. Well, I can't blame it, so it's not really a big deal for me. But for those of you who want to paint it, then it's really up to you. If you have the stain of this part. It's just a little major thing. Then even to her tail right here. All the way from uh, white, purple, white, purple. Then going to her holy ring. And of course, there's no Digimon words. But I do respect because it's very, very small. And it will take some time to make the Digimon words. Then going all the way to the tip of her tail. Really gorgeous. And of course... We cannot forget her gloves, which in fact is a uh, Venomon uh, 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 Venomon uh, uh, made this uh, gloves. I forget if I pronounce his name right. Then you can see the paws of uh, Tamon's gloves, really, really nice uh, made and I mean painted. But there's a little like gap right here that they forget to paint out the black areas. But I don't really mind as well. As long the main part is how they scope uh, Telmon, her action move is really well done, her facial expression is very very cute, that's the, the thing that I really wanted the most. So in general it really is cute, and of course, comparison of the other Telmon from uh, 2014, you can see this, they're actually it's still the same but it's just different poses. So. It's a good thing they still capture her face, uh, her facial expressions, her eye color details, her mouth, the ears, the tails, her gloves, etc. So this is Telmon in her jumping mode freely expression. And of course, final and but not least is the base itself. We kind of forget that. And you can see all out of all the characters, this one has the crest, the logo with this kind of a shape, this kind of a shape, I forgot what it's called. And then for Angel Woman, it has the, the wing and the digital uh, blocks. But this one has the moon shape right here. You can tell already that moon shape. And then more the digital blocks like that. And then here's the words. That's based on Wizardmon and Telmon, Mega House 2016, made in China, and transparent. And you can tell by the color is dark uh, blue itself, or dark purple if you may want to call it. So I'll be right back to attach Wizardmon and Telmon. And these two dots is to, uh, to attach the pity part of the wind where Wizardmon is standing. So I'll be right back. And one major thing I forgot to uh, inform every one of you that this gap right here that I'm showing you right now, that's actually the, to attach a uh, Wizardmon's uh, glove. So I'll be right back again. So after I already uh, assembled a, a Wizardmon, Telmon, and the base itself, I noticed while I was uh, assembling them, the Telmon attachment is actually okay. Just a, just a little, a little uh, pressure just to attach uh, his left glove, uh, attached to her left uh, glove right here. So that's not a problem. But the problem is, is the base and this uh, this kind of wind blowing like that. Uh, due to his uh, weight, like when he's bending in, including the side of this uh, wind effect, uh, 
he's kind of a little bit bendy, not very straight. Not he's like this, but not like this. So when I was trying to like really compress the the wind attached to the base, he eventually fall out. So you might need to do a little pressure if you want him to make it st uh, steady, but not too much because remember the base is still plastic. So let's look at the general look of Wizmer and Tamon. Just look at it how it it how it assembles. How Wizmond and Telma just look at each other so happily. So I'm going to move this a little bit down to let you see the, the expression of those two when they look at each other. Although Wizmond, you can't see his face probably because of his hat right here, and I don't want to remove it because it took me some time just to make him st uh, steady to go with the base. So it's really it's nice to see how they're so happy together, and then. Of course, I'm going to show you 360 before I'm going to go for my conclusion. And look at that tail, it's really nice. And I have to use my two comics and this Japanese uh, dictionary book just to uh, make the, the right height to show this uh, figure to every one of you. So there you go, a wisdom one and tell one figure. So in conclusion, well, having this figure, the whole set of Telmon, it's just unbelievable. So starting from 2014 all the way to 2016, like just two years, get the whole complete set of this uh, gem series, and this is just wonderful to collect these. Like since you already know that for those like DJ fans that really likes the characters that you adore so much, and you really want to collect them, even when you're young and you have those good old toys, but now. You get to see them, like they're like they came back to life. Like you can really imagine getting these collection toys, like from here all the way right here and all the way right here. And of course, I have this major like just a little complaint about Wizardmon is just like it's just about the body part especially that heavy weight of his that cannot really stand so well on the base that's the little complaint i have there but if it's for in general it really is outstanding and then if it's for Tailman's at painting probably especially the the claws right here on her gloves i really do not mind about it everything about this figure is just magnificent indeed all the way from head to toe and if you want to have a proper uh, image of these two I will be uh, taking more uh, photos of uh, Wizardmon and Telmon or maybe a few before I will start putting them back into the box just to make them of course safely in the box right here and for packing to move house including uh, of course her and Hikari right here because this one's going to be priority number one to really put in the box as soon as possible so after I finished recording, I had to put all these uh, three figures in the box as soon as possible. And she's priority number one because Angel Woman's very big right here. So in so if you like this guys, this video, if you enjoyed it, click the like, subscribe to my channel, and of course let me know in the comments below which one of these three uh, figures you like the most, you love the most, or which one of these uh, figures that you really want the most but you haven't get them yet. Let me know in the comments below. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you all in the next video preview.